Empathy is important to me personally. Sometimes you find um, scientists who might be so intelligent, you know, and they know everything, but if they can't have that personal, that empathetic connection, that can kind of create a barrier between you and people. There's so much to learn, so much that we don't know, you know, and that's, that's the beauty of science. <laughs> Biotechnology is essentially leveraging single-celled organisms and reprogramming new genetic information into them to produce whatever protein therapy that you could wish. Coming out of my undergraduate experience, I wasn't exactly prepared to go into the real world or to get a job in a lab or in industry or anything like that. However, I'm at Thomas Jefferson now. I'm in the one-year biotechnology master's program and absolutely loving it. I'm going to be doing a concentration in bioprocessing at the JIB. JIB is the Jefferson Institute for Bioprocessing. It's really the only training facility site in North America. Students that come here might come from industry background or they might just be graduating from undergrad, but this really gives us the opportunity to have hands-on training on the process. Getting that hands-on experience with interdisciplinary teams, being able to learn from experts in different fields. Every single seminar, lecture, example of a given therapy or technique is backed up immediately with like, oh, this is where you're gonna use it in your career. Like, oh, by the way, get really good at this because this is what is gonna be expected of you when you get into a lab. We all have immune systems, right? And naturally, like there are ways that we can build it up, but then also we can directly impact our immune system by inserting a gene sequence so that our bodies will still recognize the virus and be able to create antibodies to defend ourselves against it. We can create a gene therapeutic that we can give to not only one person, but millions of people, anybody who can take it. That's the goal. The possibilities are essentially endless, and it's exciting to be on the forefront of this relatively new field that could be revolutionizing medicine and healthcare altogether. Our project is a collaboration between my lab and the people over at the Jefferson Institute of Bioprocessing. We're gonna do a scale up from several of the plasmids. We're gonna essentially make about a two liter bottle of it which will then get passed along to JIB, where they will expand it thousands of times to make liters and liters of vaccine. We have to grow these cells, right? So in the upstream process, we grow the cells. And in industry, we call that scaling up. So as we continue to scale up and grow the cells, um, the cells are producing more product. So towards the end, eventually we'll purify that. Creativity plays a major role in biotech. You know, we're always trying to find ways to optimize our process and to be more competitive, more affordable, and even make the drugs that these patients are taking, you know, more ingestible and tolerable for them as well. There are plenty of, of therapies and illnesses that have been completely revolutionized with new therapies derived from biotech methods and, and scaled up through bioprocessing that have change the lives of people suffering from those diseases. So can it change the world? Absolutely, it has already, and I believe it's only in its infancy and will continue to do so.